A highly requested design is the tortoise shell, how to do it properly. Stephanie is gonna show you all the little tips and tricks right now. Okay guys, we have a demo coming for you that has been highly requested, uh, the tortoise shell design. So we're gonna go over that right now. Okay, for the tortoise shell look, we're gonna be using Mission Control Clutch, Mission Control Overdrive, our yellow liquid art, along with just a touch of our red liquid art, and our clear sculptor in the Synergy Precision applicator. Okay, so I have Sally here prepped and shaped, ready to go, file finished with a 150 grit file. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my protein bond and apply this over the acrylic enhancement before I get to my gel design so that there's no chipping or peeling. I'm gonna grab my tile and my spatula. First thing I'm gonna be starting off with is a little bit of clutch. I'm gonna take some out. Place it on my tile, take a little bit of my overdrive, place that on the tile, and I'm going to take some clear sculptor and just get that out. What I'm going to do is mix some of my clutch with my clear sculptor. That's gonna get, just kind of dilute the color a little bit. With this design, there's a lot of kind of sheerness to it and some dimension there. So mixing the clear with the brown is just gonna dilute it a little bit and give me kind of that sheer look that I'm going for. Take a gel brush and we're gonna pick up that mixture we just made. We're just kind of dabbing. There's no real right or wrong. They're just kind of little spots. These are some of my favorite style designs to do because you can't really mess them up. It is an abstract design itself, so it's not supposed to look perfect. There's no exact pattern to it. We're just kind of going for it. And now that I have the base for most of the spots, I'm gonna take just a touch of my overdrive and kind of blend that into the center. That way it's gonna give us a little of that dimension, kind of blending this in with that sheer colored brown that I had. Wipe my brush a little bit and just kind of dab them in so that it starts to blend a bit. This is gonna give the illusion of the density in the center as it kind of spreads out to that translucent brown. Just kind of mixing. Same thing over here, just kind of dabbing at that color. Again, there's really no right or wrong to it. Get some of that off my brush. The overdrive can be pretty dense, so I wanna make sure that I still keep that kind of almost watercolor look going. So I'm just kind of mixing, getting it to where I like it, and then moving on. Same thing down here, just kind of pushing that around, blending all that together, keeping them kind of in that abstract like blob shape. There's really, again, not exactly a pattern to this. What I have down for my base is a cover pink. It's a nice neutral tone, which is gonna work for this design because what we're gonna add next is layers of a clear gel, a clear jelly color. So having that neutral base is really gonna be able to kind of make it pop. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how that's looking. And I'm gonna grab my lamp and go ahead and cure that out for about 30 seconds. Now I'm gonna take some clear sculptor Squeeze that out on my tile. Now first, I'm gonna take my yellow liquid art. I don't need a lot. I'm just gonna drop that onto that clear gel, just a couple drops. The liquid art is a colored monomer that can be used to change the color of your clear acrylic. It can also be mixed into your gel with what we're doing right now. For the red, I'm really not looking for red in my design but the design does have the sheer color that it has is kind of like an orange kind of burnt orange look. So I just want the tiniest little touch of red here. Also, I'm gonna take some of this clutch and grab that and we're gonna actually mix that in as well. 
a little more red than I wanted. So I'm just gonna pull it over here to the side, keeping that other extra dye over there. And we will be able to add a little bit more clear sculptor, maybe some more brown to this to kind of go back to that nude orange, burnt orange kind of look I was going for. So a little more of the clear. We'll go with just a touch more yellow and back with some of that brown again. I think this is one of the most fun things about mixing custom colors is if it's not turning out how you like it, you can just continue mixing until you get the desired color you're looking for. So as I'm smoothing this out, I'm starting to see the color. You wanna make sure that it's nice and even before you start applying. Looks good to me. I'm gonna go back and grab my gel brush. I'm gonna take and pick up some of that clear translucent color we just created, and we're just gonna brush this over the entire nail. And since this is a clear gel, I'm really just brushing it on nice and thin. It doesn't take much. I, might, I may go back and do a second coat, but for right now, I'm just doing a nice thin brush on layer. And I'm gonna grab my lamp and go ahead and cure that out for about 30 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and grab an additional layer and just brush that over again. What's cool about this design is it just kinda, as you're darkening some of the sheer gel here, you're actually darkening some of those base spots that we had originally applied, so it's really giving it that dimensional look. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and get that in the light for about 30 seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. I made an executive decision here. I think a matte tortoise shell would look really cool, so I'm gonna grab my Manicure Matte Top Coat and apply a nice even amount from cuticle to free edge. Okay, we're gonna get this in the light for 30 seconds and we'll get back to you guys with the final shot. Thank you so much for watching our nail videos. To watch more, head right over here. And to subscribe to our channel, click right over here.